Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Indoors. Today we're going to be focusing on interior lighting. Now if you're like me, when you first join a server or start a new world, you don't have any access to any aesthetic lighting until you get to the nether. And I'm here to tell you today that you can accomplish this with a simple old torch. Yep, most people don't even think about it. Torches are ugly, they don't really give you any aesthetic value unless you're going for medieval builds and that isn't necessarily true. You could do some pretty amazing things with torches using item frames. Now here we're going to use fence, item frames and leads. We're also going to do some different projects with cocoa beans and jungle wood. And in order to use the leads we're going to need cows and to take those cows out we're going to need swords. Let's start by focusing on the item frames first. To start out, making your torches fancy with item frames involves placing the torches first. Then you can place the item frames next. And after that, there's a few items that look really really good in item frames when they're pl placed properly. The first one up is a sunflower. If you place a sunflower in an item frame, it adds a nice level of depth and an additional decoration. A little bit on the feminine side, but it's a workable design. Next is the cauldron. Placing a cauldron looks a little odd at first, but when turned upside down, looks like a great support for a torch. Next is the hopper which adds another level of detail, especially when placed upside down, sort of like a torch holder. The anvil, where I first got this idea, from Windcraft, a buddy of mine, Lone Wolf, actually showed me a design within here. That looks like a proper torch holder. And last but not least, the enchanting table. Now, let's get rid of this, and for nice entryways, I've seen a bunch of tiki torch designs before, and I think leads do a great job with tiki torches. Now, one of the things about tiki torches is that by placing torches on top of fence post or nether brick fence post, it just looks kind of bland. To add another level of detail, you'll want to do the following. Spawn a cow, or grab a cow or a sheep or a chicken or a horse or pretty much any Minecraft animal. Wrap the lead around him, and then wrap the lead around the post. Now you have the lead surrounding the post. Get rid of the cow or the other animal. Come here, cow. And voila, you have a beautiful two-layered tiki torch that you can add to. Same process as before. Torch on top, animal, lead, lead, kill the animal, and the leftover product is the tiki torch with the layer. When you correct lighting's in place, there's also a few methods of adding aesthetic lighting without actually providing light. As weird as this sounds, you can give the illusion of a nice chandelier using fence, a jungle wood log, and cocoa beans. At full growth, they look a little like this. While this doesn't actually provide light, it sure does provide a great aesthetic piece if your lighting is correct in order to prevent mob spawns. Well guys, that about wraps it up for today's tutorial. I hope you all learned a little bit about primitive aesthetic lighting and you can use this in your own homes in Minecraft. Thank you all so much for watching and as always this is Zuljin signing off. Have a good one.